Hello, this is Corbus Gaming, and I want to show you how you can do the Vlad the Impaler tomb in Assassin's Creed Revelations. Basically, you need to go to Sophia Sartor's bookshop. Uh, the icon will be displayed in the map. Then you will find this book. You interact with the book, and the prison has now unlocked. You go out of the bookshop. You check your map. And on the left corner of the map, of uh, Istanbul of the map, there is the hidden tomb. Now you go there, you click, you mark the spot, and you simply need to go there and do the mission. So that's what we will be doing. Now, there was, let's see if I can, no, just need, where is it? Just need to go to that fast travel location there you go it's the arcadius then you go to the arcadius using the underground passage passageways and you go to the hidden tomb and you'll do the mission now let's see what this vlad this hidden tomb has in store for us right let's check the tomb right let's do this i do believe that the reward the the Vlad the Impala sword is actually a strong sword that has unique animations. So that's something to consider once you decide to do this dungeon. I'm going in. Is this a prison or something? What the hell is this? It looks like a prison. I see. So the proof of his death is the sword itself. Interesting. How do I go up? This is not straightforward, no. How the hell do I go up? Oh, never mind. Found it. This is how you go. Right, I'm in. Further in. So it's remarkable how edgy preserving this athletic ability, I cannot stress that enough. And in these dungeon missions, we can clearly see that. Interesting. It 
kind of resembles one of the tombs in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Very similar. The artwork, the textures, it's very, very... They, they look alike. They really look alike. A lot. No, oh, that's my way, I think. Um, oh, all right, all right, got it. Oh, we jump. All right, all right. Got it, got it. Should I throw myself there? Like so. Maybe there? Exactly. <laughs> Bucket jacked. Good, no. Alright, let's do a sp spin spin. Almost messed this up. Right, here's the sword. Oh yeah, that thing looks vicious. Looks vicious. Right, let's test this. Let's get out and wreck, wreck everything up. Let's create chaos. I want to test this sword. I want to see the unique, brutal animations. Oh, the sword is fantastic. It's beautiful. Right, let's test it. Yes! Come on, hit me. Really? <laughs> Apparently, the animations are not that different. I've got an odd feeling about that man. Come on. <laughs> no, clearly different. Clearly different. Clearly different animations. Those two just got impaled. Fantastic. So, there you go. This was the Vlad the Impaler tomb, and this is the reward. The Vlad the Impaler sword. Basically a sword with a very strong sword. It has four points in all stats. Uh, but the, the main attraction in this sword is the unique and gorish animations Why would so yes that? i suggest that you use this sword as soon as you can this was basically what i wanted to show you this was the mission i wanted to show you so basically this is all there is to the to this mission scarbus is out i'll see you soon for more assassin's creed revelations content i have to do the desmond's memories 
and the DLC. And after that, I'm heading out to Assassin's Creed 3. Once again, thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Scarpus is out. I'll see you soon for more Assassin's Creed content. Cheers. Thank you for watching. See you soon.